Hey all you peeps, this is Edo here for another Let's Play of Undertale. We last left off, uh, well, <laughs> well we ended up uh, having a fight with Undyne, and then we hanged out with Undyne, which was so awesome. So now we're back here. Um, so I think now where we need to go is, uh, hmm, let me see if I need anything, uh, uh, I probably need something, so hold one sec. Hello. Let's get... Yeah, let's get a crab apple. That should probably be good. Because we have, like, what? A couple items? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. So let's go here. Oh. Hello again. Tra-la-la. Care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes. Where will we go today? Uh, we're gonna go to Snowden. Then we're off. Uh, it wears me out that it's a cat. <laughs> Tra la la, Tammy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh! So if you didn't know about it, you could have find out through the, this guy. Or he, she, whatever it is. Come again sometime. Cha la la. Cool. Let's see. Uh, if I'm correct, Undyne went to hang out with Papyrus. So let's go see them. Let's see what they say. There they are. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Hey, punk, what's up? Achoo! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. <laughs> of course you don't. Of course you don't. So why don't we stand in grill bees instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. <laughs> of course you have standards, Papyrus. Papyrus, why do you live in an icy wasteland? The ranch cheap. Really? Don't you live in a huge house? Yeah, but my brother pays for it. Where's your brother get the money to pay for it? Oh, that simple. It's a mystery. <laughs> Oh, Papyrus. Oh, they say the same thing. Oh, that's cute. I guess that was it, huh? That was cool. Guess we can go back now and continue onward. Tra la la, care for a ride. Yes, we should ride in the boat. Let's go to Hotland. We are off. Let's see what happens. The water's very wet today. Very wet? <laughs> okay, really? It wasn't wet before? <laughs> oh my gosh. They are so silly. Ooh, back here. In Hotland! Come again sometime. Tra la la. It's kind of sound like a la yong. Alright, let's go. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Let's save. And let's go up. Uh. Sorry, Ndine, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undine. What? 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 Okay, I guess we have to go this way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's, um, okay, it's dark. And somebody's monitoring me. That's, that's, that's good, that's good. Okay. It's you. <laughs> Let's see. It's too dark to see near the walls. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I kind of figured that was going to be the case. Yep. Uh, I can't see anything. Let's... <gasps> oh! Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... And... And? Um... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alpes. I'm Asgore's royal assistant. But, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Ooh, awesome. I know a right way to Asgore's castle. No problem. Hmm. <laughs> that face. <laughs> the best face ever. Look at it. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-anti-human combat features? Oh, no. Of course, uh, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. Oh, no. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? Oh, Alfie's! Why'd you do that? <laughs> that's not good. That's that's no bueno. <laughs> but um, hopefully we won't run into him. Oh great, we're gonna run into him, huh? Uh, what? Hmm? Did you hear something? Oh no, he's gonna run into us. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what? What? What just happened? Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. <laughs> what? <gasps> to today's quiz show. <laughs> oh my god, what? What's going on? Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! <gasps> oh, that music is awesome! Alright, why am I- well, <laughs> Cry is a choice? <laughs> Let's check him first. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Okie doke! Man, 999 defense. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, honey, mercy, new. Oh, oh, oh! Right, sounds like you get it. Oh, so I guess uh, Alfie's is gonna help us. I guess we'll cry? Screaming is against the rules. Here's your direct prize. What's the king's full name? It is Asgore Dreamer! Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Um... Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? <laughs> I love this music. It's so great. Here's another easy one for you. Oh, what? I can't even read all that! Uh, I guess we'll go with Alfie's. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too much. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh, I guess it's this. Greg, you're so lucky today. It's a good thing I have Alfie's with me to help. Oh man. Let's play memory game. Okay. What monster is this? That's a frog it. It's a Metaton? Uh. <laughs> I'm so flattered you remembered. Oh my gosh, what the fook. 
Ah. Uh. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Really? <laughs> and the timer's going up too, see? Great answer. I love it. <laughs> That's great. Uh. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Oh my god, where's it going? Where's it going? Uh. Of course, that was easy for you. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? What was that? Time to break out the big guns in the dating simulation video game. Oh, oh, I know this one. It's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Elfies, elfies, elfies. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? <laughs> Look here. Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. <gasps> Who does Dr. Alpies have a crush on? Oh! Oh, uh, let's see. Um, we have, well, okay, Undyne, Asgore, the human. Uh, mm, I don't know, but if I have to guess, I think it's, uh. Oh! See, Alpies, I told you it was obvious. Oh my god, it's true! Oh my god! That's crazy! Even the human figured it out. <laughs> yes, she crawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. <laughs> Sharing of domestic life. <laughs> Probability of crush, 101%. <laughs> Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Elfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, <laughs> this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh, oh, and he goes out like a rocket. Mm. <laughs> that face says it all. Well, that was certainly something. Boy, was it. <laughs> That, that last question, uh, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. So Dr. Alfie's loves Undyne. <laughs> it's a bag of dog food. It's half full. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Ooh, take a package of noodles? Yes. You got the instant noodles. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. And then maybe if you need help, I could... Oh, oh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Please. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, they were screaming right there? <laughs> what the hell? Here, I upgraded it for you. Um. It can do texting. Items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> the face. Oh my God. I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, oh, Doctor Alfie's. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Oh, that's right. Seems like a walkthrough to a game or a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. All right, let's go. Oh, let's see. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. <laughs> Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. <laughs> it's a bathroom sign. Up, oh, I guess we go up. Whoa. Well, let's look around. Oh, uh, whoa. Oh, hello. Look at all this stuff here. Man, I really like this music. And I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a lot, huh? Scientific books. They seem very dusty. Very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Ooh, let's rerun. You look inside the book. 
It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. Wow, really? Does anyone even know what a VHS is these days? Like, at all? Like, at all? <laughs> Seriously. Making me feel very old right now. Ugh, man. I... They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. <laughs> Why? This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Of course not. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic book, of course. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. <laughs> ah, classic. Classic cliche anime. <laughs> Animu. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. <laughs> Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Ew. Pink. Oh, it just says the same thing. Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. Yet it has a chainsaw in it. What the fuck? The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. Ooh. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. Oh, they're all unopened. Hmm. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lamp side. On the lamp shape. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> nice. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Aww, that's cute. Alright, guess we can go this way then. Whoa, hello. <gasps> Alfie's updated status. I just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Aww. <laughs> Poor Undyne. Alfie's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Music change! Oh! Vulcan strolls in? What? It's a volcano with legs. I guess we'll check it. Mistakenly believes its lava can heal people. Thunder! Helpful speed up! And, oh, hello, happy cloud. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, ow. Okay, okay. Dodging, dodging. Vulcan parades around the room. Alright, let's, uh... Hug it? I guess hugging. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. Aw. And your whole body. Ouch. Your defense drop. Ah, so lovey. <laughs> His heart. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Vulcan's cheek glow with a bright heat. And we spare. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about here. Alright, let's go. Do, do, do. Oh! Gonna call them in a minute. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oop, oop. And there he went. Let's go. Let's go! We can do this. I like the green flames, actually. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination! Yeah! Let's save. Let's do that. And we shall continue onward. Oh! I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? Oh. Oh, Alfie's. Whee! Oh, look at that. We spin. Oh! Cinder playing gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. <laughs> okay. What is it on its head? <laughs> it's like a towel? I don't even know. I don't even know. Alright. Uh, I think we should uh, check it. Seems mean, but does it secretly like you? Ooh. No way. Why would I like you? Oh, okay. Explo Whoa, oh, okay. Explosion. Ow, ow. Okay. Gives you a condescending barrel roll. <laughs> Throw a barrel roll. I guess we uh, approach? You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Ah! Human. Oh, the green. We gotta get the green. And I hit myself doing that, but that's okay. Let's go, let's go. Green, green. Uh, accidentally bumps you with its wing. Uh, you tell Cinderplane that you like its taste in movies and books. Huh? You, you sicko! Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Okay, alright. Um, dodgy. Looks over, then turns up its nose. Um, okay, can't spare yet. But not too close. Alright. I guess we didn't get enough of the green screen. Green. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that that little a little fanfare turd <laughs> told me the truth. Oh, and we spared! But why is it like in the corner like that? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, this music, dude. Oh, this is such an amazing song. I love it. Alright, let's get this. Oh, oops. Oh, I see. There's a fry pan laying on the ground. Will you take it? Take it! You got the burnt pan. <laughs> it's burnt. Let's see the info. A burnt pan. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal four more HP. Ooh, that's actually, that actually sounds very helpful. So let's go ahead and equip it. All right. Okay, let's go. Wee. <laughs> let's see, I guess we have to go this way now. And then go that way? Oh, wait. Oh, mm. Nope, I guess I have to go the other way. One sec. Well, oh, wait a minute. Actually, I should probably go back and heal. Might as well. Oh, OMG. I had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. <laughs> oh! Pyro bounce towards you? Okay. Let's check it. This mischievous monster is never warm enough. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> oh! Oh, what? 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 Ow! Okay. What? What? And I'm supposed to go through it? Pyro is protected. Um, oh man, we need to heal. Man, we need to heal. Uh, um, uh... You eat the cinnamon bunny. Your HQ is maxed out. Feel the heat! Oh. What? Oh, jeez, there are bombs. Oh, explosions. The explosions everywhere. <laughs> nope, we can't spare it. So let's, um, heat up. Whoa! You crank up the thermostat. Pyro begins to get excited. Oh, jeez. You can even see the lines on the dialogue box. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, bombs. Nope, nope, dodging. I just love the whole explosion. He wants more heat. Let's do it. Heat it up. You crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. Pry up looks satisfied. Squiggly lines. Oh gosh. Look at <laughs> like all squig. Oh jeez. How am I ow? How am I supposed to? I guess I just go through it. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Let's just spare him. Nice. <laughs> Let's heal. Oh my gosh. I, I thought I was gonna die. Let's go. Oh! What the? Click? Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Oh, come on, Alfie. Oh! Uh, hi. So, the blue lasers? Oh, I mean, Alfie's here. Hi. <laughs> the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. <laughs> mm, uh, bye. <laughs> oh my god, I did it. Claws, I've never shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Oh, huh? Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? <laughs> Okay, so we just gotta stop, and then go, and then stop. Eek. Oh no! Oh, 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 I messed that up. Oh, is, it, is that a switch? It's a switch! Press it! Lasers were deactivated. Nice. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. <laughs> Post a picture. Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. <laughs> oh, another call. Uh, Alfie's here. The the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I I think you should go to the right first. Okay, I guess we should go to the right then. Wee! <laughs> I like the spin. It's so fun. 
Whoa, look at those guys. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. <laughs> Metaton, yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. <laughs> Whoa! The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle, but I kept running out of ammo, and it kept restarting, and my two coworkers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. <laughs> it's just a floating cat head. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Destroy the core! <laughs> oh. What? I'm confused. Oh! Oh, I see! I have two shots! That's why. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Alright, let's continue onward. I guess now we have to go to the left. Elfie's here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. But as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Oh, cool. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. <laughs> we were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Okay. Shoot the opposing ship. Okay. Alright, so it's the same thing, but different. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. Gotta learn our puzzles here. Um... Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah! yeah! Master of Puzzles! Here we go. Oh! Oh, well hello doors. Now we go in. And we're... Oh, whatever. I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um... Hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, uh, they're a bit difficult to explain, but... Uh, you already solved them? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> wee! Wee! Oh, hello, change of color and polka dots. Um, okay. It's pitch black. I kind of don't like that. Oh, is that Alfie's again? Hey, it's kind of dark in here, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh, I'm in a kitchen? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with the killer robot. <laughs> Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making... A cake. Okay, cool. A cake. I like cake. Who doesn't love cake? Oh, this music. Hello, elevator music. Yeah, yeah. I like it. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Yeah! You! You go! We'll need some sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. <laughs> Sweetheart. You found the eggs. You found the milk. <laughs> that must be the sugar. And I found sugar. Alright. It's uh <laughs> I just like it just plops it. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We got all the ingredients we need to bake a cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. What? A human soul! Ah, he's gonna kill me! Oh. Wait, what? 
Is that my phone? Uh. Hello. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A uh, substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? <laughs> uh, what if someone's, uh... Um... <laughs> vegan? <laughs> that should, then they shouldn't be having the milk then. Vegan. Oh, I mean... That's a brilliant idea, Alfie! <laughs> Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand, always convenient human soul flavor substitute. <laughs> what? There's a substitute for human flavor? <laughs> human soul flavor, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. A can of which is just over on that counter. Conveniently right there. Okay. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Okay, I guess we gotta get it. Let's go grab it. Wait, what? B what? Oh, and there it goes. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. <laughs> oh gosh, no. So, better start climbing, beautiful. <laughs> How are we supposed to climb it? Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Hmm... But so fortunately, I might have a plan. Oh? When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few... ...features. You see that huge button that says, Jetpack? Jetpack?! <laughs> what?! Watch this. And... My phone is now a jetpack. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. All right. On our cell phone jetpack. Oh, what? He's throwing things at me. That's not cool. Oh, uh, okay. We can do this. Not too bad. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Okay. I uh, just gotta go. I like all this music. This music is so great. Is he throwing pies at me? No, wait, is it pie? Oh, ow. Okay, come on, I can do this. This part's not hard. It's, oh, okay, oh. Oh, this music. I love it. Ow! This, that wasn't fair. I didn't even get a chance. That wasn't fair. Go, 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 go. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Whoa. Oh, we did it. Yay, we're gonna get it. My, my. It seems you bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alfie's. Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. About the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. So, he already... Made a cake with the human soul. <laughs> oh. Wow. We we did it. We we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Oh boy. Wow. Let's check. It's an oven. It looks pretty modern. It's a microwave. That's great if you're a microwave fan. <laughs> It's a fridge. It's strangely warm. It's a specifically regular sized sink. And, uh, no. Oh, I, I guess there's nothing. All right. Um. All right. So, uh. Oh, hello. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You are filled with determination. All right. Well, so in the next episode, we will continue onward and perhaps we will bump into Dr. Alfie's again and probably most likely Metaton. It seems like we haven't seen the last of him. <laughs> oh, but that cooking show was so amazing. I loved it. Well, this was Undertale with me, Edo. And with that, I am out of here. Toodles!